the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits for the first time in a while. I am sorry, guys, as you can hear in my voice, I'm getting over being sick. Um, I was also in the Rio Grande Valley um, talking to a couple fighters, uh, but it is really good to be back. I know it's the first show in a while. We will be back twice a day, every day. Um, You can see today's episode um, is on the Masterclass Performance by... uh, Charlie Edwards' little brother and new world champion, Sonny Edwards. Another family with two world champions. Um, Really impressive stuff. We're going to get into it before... Before you do that, please like. Before we get into it, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Guys, today is the last day of Autism Awareness Month. It is April 30th. Um, the link is in the description for TACA, which is the Autism Community in Action. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please share that. Uh, please share the, the, the TACA link. Um, if you can, please donate to it. Uh, it's a charity that's near and dear to my heart. Um but let's get into today's show. Sonny Edwards put on a, a really, really, really high-level performance. Um, he, you can see he was the classier boxer. And Mithalane, I think, is 38 years old now. Um, so, he looks, Mithalane looks slow. Mithalane's a long-reigning champion. I picked Mithalane to win. I said... I'm going to keep calling him Charlie Edwards. Sonny Edwards uh, didn't have anything on his resume that tells me he's ready for a guy like Mithalane. I said, I wouldn't completely discredit Sonny Edwards because he's highly gifted. But he's never been in a fight like this. And Mithalane's been a world champion for years. So I I didn't see anything that Edwards, you know. You go back, you look at Edwards' box rec. The guy he fought before this, Thomas Esamba. Was ten and five. Then he fought Marcel Brightweight. Okay, fine. Before that, he fought guys like Rosando, Hugo Guinares, Hiram Colorado, Pedro Matos. I mean, these are the names he's fought recently. Not that there's. Do you guys know any of those names besides maybe Brightweight? Brightweight. Is that how? You, like th- th- these are who's who's, right? I mean, and to say that he was going to step in and be a long reigning champ like Methylene, I thought was. A bridge too far. Now, yeah, again, I, I think Edwards is gifted, and I still think that. And obviously, I, I, I still think that. I, I just thought that that was way too big of a jump up too quickly. Uh, Edwards is now 16 and up. His skills are undeniable. He was firing off the jab. He was moving, moving, moving. If ever, you know, the, the ropes are on fire, stay off the ropes. If ever that was executed, stay off the ropes. Edwards did that today. Um, it looked like he started to fade and he started to tire in the middle round and he got that second win and went right back to work. Uh, Methalane had a few moments here and there. He had a good ninth round, I believe. Uh, I think there was a fifth round is when it looked like Methalane may get back into this. And he never really did. Methalane was never really in this fight. That's how good Edwards' performances was. I, I'm going to guess that he's going to be our fighter of the week based on that performance. The world championship performance and the biggest fight of his life and a massive step up. So full credit to Sonny Edwards. It was a master class performance. And Edwards is a very gifted fighter. Now I'm gonna take, now I'm gonna pick it apart. Look, at a certain point, at a world class level, you're gonna have to sit down, you're gonna have to establish power, and you're gonna have to come forward. You can't beat everyone to circling, circling, going backwards, going backwards, going backwards. You may be able to win some fights that way. You may be able to you beat Methalane, a good fighter. So you can win world world-class fights this way, world titles this way, but you, you're not going to beat everyone this way. You know, uh, Methalane looked like it was getting closer and closer, but Edwards just stayed on the gas. I tweeted out about four or five rounds in. This is a massive performance. If Edwards can keep it up, he's going to win this fight. Um, I said, but if he can keep it up is the question, and he did. So full credit to him. Again, this I'm not taking anything away from the performance. What I'm saying is just simply replicating this performance is it necessarily going to get him through the division? Again, I picked Methylene, so I'm not discrediting Methylene. Um, 
But there are other guys in this division who, you know, Julio Cesar Martinez is going to get to him. Juto Nakatani is going to get to him. You know, Christopher Rosales is an interesting fight. You know, these guys can come forward. Um, you know, this is a good division. You know, the Julio Cesar Martinez fight is going to be fun. The Nakatani, the Juto Nakatani fight would be fun. Um, can these guys get to him? You know, um, Tanaka's out of the division. I don't know if Tanaka's going to go back down to 115. But there's uh, Dalekin is in this division. I, I wouldn't be too worried about him. The two names I'd like to see, Julio Cesar Martinez and Nakatani. Can he keep those guys? Those guys are young. Those guys are fresh. And those guys are offensive fighters. Can he keep those guys off of him over the long haul? It's a much different thing. You know, Methylene started to touch up to the body. He just maybe was aged, a little faded, and he just didn't have it to keep the pressure up. Um, if you can only, you know, Josh, this was my knock on Josh Taylor, not Josh Taylor, Josh Taylor is good, Josh Kelly, when he fought Avin Eason. You have to establish, you can't keep circling because as soon as you slow down and this guy can start touching you at a world class level, these big hitters are going to stop you. Now, Edwards didn't have that problem today. But are you telling me that Julio Cesar Martinez isn't eventually going to get to him? And that there isn't spots where he's going to have to sit down? He's going to have to fire off a one-two? He's going to have to rip Martinez to his body to keep him off him, to keep him coming forward? You know, like, Sonny Edwards has no power, okay? But he needs to be able to do what Caleb Plant can do, right? Which is establish yourself and stop people from just walking in on you. Because, again, he slowed a little bit, but it wasn't enough for Methylene to get in and really do work on him. Methylene is a good fighter, so there's no it's no knock. But I, I can't see how he runs through those other two names. You know, at, at a division below, 108, you have Bam Rodriguez. Can he, you know, at, at a certain point, he's just he has to establish himself. He has to establish his power and some physicality. And I don't know that he can do that. But again, this is a massive class performance. His skills are as good as anyone's. Okay, he's great on his feet. He's quick on his feet. He fires off. Uh, he fires off one shot at a time. I'd like to see him throw some combinations, but he throws off good shots. You know, um, he's going to be tough to beat. But if you can slow him down, if you can get to him, if you can start touching him up, and you can get on the inside of him, you can track him down. I, I think he can be beat. Um, it'd be fun to see. Rosales is someone like that fight him. Um, but, but we'll see where he goes from here. So congratulations to him. Sonny Edwards is a world champion. It was a world championship performance in a big spot. Um, he won the fight clearly. I think I had it like 10 to 2. So it wasn't close. I'm not saying anything like that. Um, but what I'm saying is I don't know if just replicating this performance is going to get to the highest level. Get him, get him through everyone in the division. I, I don't see him doing this to Nakatani or to... Uh, Martinez. Let me know what you guys think. Were you hyper impressed? Were you, were you super impressed? Do you see what I kind of see where it's really good, but he can be beaten if you can get to him? Um, leave your thoughts comments below. Remember, this is uh, National Autism Awareness Month. There's a link in the description for Taco, which is uh, the Autism Community in Action. Please share that link. Uh, if you can, please donate to it. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. We'll be back tomorrow. Um, big day tomorrow. The pay-per-view card. The UK card, big day tomorrow. We're going to cover all of it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. It is April 30th, uh, 2021. Um, April 30th, 2021. Um, I'm losing my brain. Ivan Calderon is still out. Speaking of little men, great little men. Ivan Calderon is still out in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Um, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.